Hey folks, how you doing today? So I was out over the weekend, which uh, when I don't have anything to do, I'm out hunting stuff for everybody. So over the weekend, actually on Sunday, I was able to pick this up. This is what I believe is like a 1940s H.C. Evans crap game. Uh, this one, I have never seen one this large before, which actually makes it very cool because it's a complete crap layout, okay? Unlike, or you know, as you know, we have this one listed right now, but it's a much simpler game. This is also reverse glass and for sale at this time. Very nice game, but you see, this one is huge, right? Um, so this little puppy is 43 inches wide, 19 inches tall, and three inches deep. It does have rubber feet on it back here. And for some reason, and I have no clue why, they call this African Golf. I was actually able to get one of their original sales flyers, African Golf. Why they put that on there, I can only speculate. My speculation is, is that you could take this anywhere and play a full game of craps, because it has nothing to do with golf or Africa, but I think they're saying that means it's portable. So, let me show you here. This is, this is, oh, let me go one more time here. This is 38 pounds. So this thing is 38 pounds is a lot of weight, very heavy, and it's got the nice thick glass. It is four color plus mirror. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay it down now. I'm gonna have Jeff come up and we're gonna play it because it's really, really super cool for me that this works. And that's all reverse glass, correct? All reverse glass, mm -hmm. it's absolutely beautiful. So the way that this works, okay, so this would be in this position, okay? So let's don't look at that. So now, as you see, even like a regular craft table, there's just a slight divot here. And that would be for the dealer because somebody has to house the game. So we're going to make all of our bets, right? Then, just like in craps, with this, I am going to push this in, which that is like a stick pushing the dice to the player. So now the player shoots, right? And we got box cars. So that's a crap out, but you get paid on the field. Okay, so now the dealer is going to pay everybody off. They're going to rebet. And then he is once again... So this is in, so nobody over here can play with the dice, right? The dice are absolutely sealed off right now, just as though they would be at the end of the table. So now the dealer pushes the dice back over with this bar, and now the player has the dice again. So once again, I have never seen one of these this size, and I've not seen one that I can recall with a full crap layout. This thing has everything a normal crap table would have. It's a very viable game today. It's absolutely beautiful. It's reverse class. On a scale from one to 10, I'd call it a nice nine. I'm being ungenerous there. And uh, the cabinet's beautiful, the dice roll good. It's like 38 pounds, thick reverse glass, crap, super, super neat. If you wanted to, you could actually hang this on the wall as a piece of artwork or set it up like I did. So absolutely cool piece. Whoever gets this is gonna have pretty much, I've never seen one this large, and I think you're gonna have a pretty rare game. So if you'd like to have it, give us a call, get a hold of us, and we'll get this thing shipped out. Uh, can you uh, bring it back up again? Let me do that. Yeah, I just yeah, I want to reiterate what Jim is saying. You know, a lot of the trade simulators that were face down games uh, really don't have a lot of, uh, I should say, room presence. Or like Jim says, if you were to want to hang this well, on a wall, size uh, or just leave it up on your bar or something like this, but the idea that people could then bring it down for to play, it's just, it just would be a shame to not see this beautiful piece of reverse glass in the game itself. It's very cool looking, very much like a sign. You should get it. <laughs>